All right, Chris Petri here. Welcome, everyone. I'm going to zoom on out here. We're going to do a quick portrait. I just typed into the internet, Rockstar, black and white photo of Rockstar. And I took just the first really interesting looking Rockstar that I saw that was in a black and white photograph. And that's what I'm going to actually uh, draw and paint here. So you can do the same thing. Um, I'm going to do this painting here. You might want to do this one here I'm going to do. So um, at the end of the video, you'll see the finished painting as it progresses. And then you can actually hit pause and then work and do the same one I just did here. Feel free to look up any other st style of um, portrait. You can do portraits of um, black and white portraits of presidents. Um, you can do black and white portraits of movie actresses, movie actors. You could take any type of genre and just type in black and white photos of fill in the blanks. And that's all you have to worry about. Um, and you'll pick up, you know, you'll, you'll find a photo that you enjoy that you really like, and that's the one you'll do. So I'm just going to do this rock star style, um, portrait, black and white. The, the, the rock star looked really interesting looking. Um, looks like he's a guy, he's got some, um, dreadlocks and looks really cool. So I figured, let me try this one and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, first thing I'll do is I'm going to um, just try to get the uh, egg shape of the head in the, uh, in the rectangle here. So let's, let's first, let's do the pencil line around. Maybe I'll use a uh, smaller pencil here that I have. Um, let me do this. Let me just get a good, a good strong, uh, outline of the rectangle. It's actually a square that I'm working in right now. It looks like a square for the most part. And uh, I'm going to basically, again, take the egg shape of the head and try to try to get the egg shape of the head. Uh, looks like, uh, and if you have a little bit, when you start out and you might have a little bit of an issue, don't worry about it do your pencil line really lightly so you can just take a eraser, a kneaded eraser, and really just lift up the pencil line really quick. Actually, the best thing I should really do here is sort of, maybe I can get like a, um, it looks like his head and face. It's like a, basically just a portrait uh, shot of this person, a photograph. His head and photo portrait shot is pretty much like three quarters of the way across like this. So that's gonna help me if I put a line there and kind of have his face within this area here. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take his, take this, put this line here and say, okay, about one quarter, half, well, about, let's say two thirds across. One third, one third, one, yeah, it's actually a third. One thirds, two thirds. So it's a one third over this way. And that's about where his, side of his left side of his head is or the right side of his head actually okay so i'm going to do that i'm going to get the oval of the head like that and again i'm 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 going to try to just mention this have fun with your portraits start doing portraits um frontal view we're going to do a frontal view here so we're not going to do anything really too intricate we're going to do basically a frontal view of portraits Go back and check out my um, my videos on portrait painting. You'll find that I give out all the dimensions of where the eyes are, where the nose is, where the mouth is. I give all the breakdowns of how to actually set up your portrait. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm just going to start out and start doing the portrait right here. And um, so I want you to go back and check out my other portrait videos. Just type in Chris Petrie portrait and you'll see probably 10 videos on portraits that I've done before. And you'll see all the different, you can go in there and check it around, peruse around. You'll see, I kind of break down all the, uh, the space divisions of the head. I'll do it here too as well. But if you want more details and you want me to go really slow, you go back to my other videos and you'll see all those more detailed uh, videos. So basically I, I do the egg shape of the head right here. That's the basic of it. And again, I'm not trying to do a great portrait here. Um, if I do an okay portrait, that's fine. I'm trying to just, I want you to try these too at home. So I want you to start venturing out as an artist and start doing some portrait work. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It can look funny. It can look awkward. Don't worry about it. Just start doing them. The more you do them, the better you're going to get at them. And that's the main thing. So here, you know, I have work to do too. I, I need to really practice on my portraits as well. So that's why you'll kind of see here, it's not going to turn out perfect or anything or look so all, you know, all so great and awesome. I'm just going to try to do the best I can right now on camera. I'm trying to do extra really, you know, really great job for you out there. So, you know, you'll have confidence in me. But, you know, I'm still learning too. So we're all on the learning curve. So this portrait is a tiny bit. Uh, turned to the right. So he's, this picture of this rock star, he's turned a little bit to the right. So his head is turned a little bit, not too much, but it is a little. So that's something, you know, I'm going to just kind of um, just notice that he, he, a little, the side of his skull and the side of his head is a little more on this side is showing, like over here. And his nose and mouth and the center of his face is a little bit over this way. You can kind of see how it's a little bit this way. So his head is, this portrait, the portrait is not exactly center. It's the head is turned a little this way, just so you kind of get the feel that the head is turned a slight little bit, which is kind of good. It's interesting and it's not too difficult. It's not like a three quarter view. It's pretty much still looking like a frontal view on this. So, We have that, and uh, it's a little shortened over here. So don't, again, don't be afraid. Do a little erasing. If you have to, you lift up a little bit of pencil lines. It's gonna be a little thinner over here on this side because he's the head is turned this way a little bit. Not too much, but a little. There we go. Okay, so now the hairline's about there. And then we have center center of the face here. So that's the uh, nose, bottom of the nose, maybe. Maybe it's a little lower here. I'm going to try to get this as best as I can. So the eyes up here. So basically we could say from the hairline about halfway is the nose, mouth across here, halfway is the chin, approximately. So we're getting our divisions here, our space divisions. The eyes are here, approximately. Okay, so we have the eyes are here, eye sockets. There's about a s eye length apart from each eye. So usually each eye, there's an eye length in between. So if you have an eye here, there's an eye length between this eye and this eye over here. So that's all we have to remember on that. Eye length between eyes and then usually an eye length between the ear. So over here we have the uh, ear. Top of the ear is the top of the eye basically. So we're going to have uh, the ear. And we'll come down here and we'll get the bottom of the nose. But let's start with the eyes now. I'm going to go in and do the eyes. So first thing, uh, I'm going to do the bridge of the nose here and then the eyes. And then there's one eye, one eye there. And there's a little bit of a shadow under there. And then over here is the other eye, and there's an eyebrow. So let me start doing the eye eyebrows too. His eyebrows are sort of tight to the top of his eyelids. And then his eyebrow goes over here. And his other eyelid is over here. And his other eye is there. And then I'll go in and I'll start trying to get his nose. So his nose comes out this way. He 
He has somewhat of a broad nose. I'm not making a big deal of the nose and the nostrils. I just want to notice that he does have a, a little bit of a broad nose there. And if I look down, I kind of see how wide, how how many eye lengths to the bottom of his nose. One, two, three. Yeah, it's about right. Three. And then we have his, uh, the top of his lips are here. And then I notice that if I take a line straight down from his eye, that's the corner of his mouth. And his mouth, corner of his mouth kind of turns down a little bit there. And then over here. And I'm hoping it looks good. He's. Trying to get the do the best I can at this here. Then his bottom lip is down here. It's a little bit darker under there. His jawline comes down this way. Chin is down here, his lower lower portion of his chin, like that. And that's kind of dark. There's a dark shadow there, and then his neck is over here, and I notice that his neck is sort of right alongside of his. So if I go over here and get his cheek, uh, his corner of his cheek here, so he's. Okay, he's got his neck comes down there, and then over here by his ear, his neck comes down there, and then he has a coat on, he's got a leather jacket on. The leather jacket is close to his ear there, and it comes over here like so. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of, let's see now, the bottom of his chin is here. Okay, and always remember your pencil sketches will always look a little odd. So don't get worried if your pencil sketch doesn't look great. It'll look better as you work and start painting. So don't get worried about things. Okay, so his leather jacket starts about the bottom of his chin here. Like that. Like that. Now we have a pretty good uh, pretty good um, and he's got some dreadlocks over here so that's gonna look interesting. Over here and then his hair comes across here, like so. And he has his dreadlocks over here. His, his hair and there's some shadow on his forehead here and there's some hair here some more dreadlocks coming down here really look looks interesting the dreadlock look
And I'm not sure how perfectly close I'm going to get this resemblance of this rock star, but um, I'm certainly going to try my best here. And I... I'm going to trim off a little bit of the... So once in a while you have to lift a little bit with your pencil. Lift a little bit of your pencil lines if you think you've gone to... He sort of looks thin, so he's like a thin person. He's not heavy weight. He's not a heavy person. He looks like he's kind of thin. So I got to make sure I keep his face a little thinner. So I'm trying to do that, keep his face somewhat thin. He looks like he eats healthy and probably doesn't eat a whole lot. Probably he's always on the road doing rock uh, rock concerts and stuff. So I'm just having fun here, enjoying the whole process of painting and thinking about. This is a musician, he's a rock star, um, you know, kind of a cool figure here to paint. And um, that looks pretty good. And that looks, this is enough sketching. Once you get to this point where you've done quite a bit of pencil lines, that's good enough. We'll go in and we'll start working with the paint next. And that's when you really start to shape things and add a little more shadows and you know, light and shadows on the uh, on the figure here, on the portrait. And again, it's just about having fun. Please try this, have fun with it. Try this one maybe, this portrait I've, I'm doing. Then maybe try a uh, try another favorite of yours. Maybe you're going to have a favorite actress, a favorite female singer, a famous uh, a person in politics. Maybe a favorite actress that you might have or actor. Do, do some fun things with portrait work. And again, I'm going to do more serious and really concentrated work on portraits and figures on my new Patreon channel. So I'm going to start a Patreon channel. I already have it started. I just have to keep continuing to set it all up and get it running, up and running. But once I get it up and running, I'm going to let everybody know so that you can basically join along. And we're going to have just a, just a fun time working on portraits and figures. And that's all we're going to do on Patreon. And I'm going to actually, you know, have that just by itself, because a lot of people on YouTube, I notice, don't really want to do these type of paintings. So for those of you, the few of you, the occasional people where you really like doing portraits and figures, we're going to do a separate project with Patreon. So look for that in the future, in the next maybe months or so, a couple months, three or four months or whatever. Next year, it'll be 2023 already, and I'll probably get my Patreon channel set up where we're doing nothing but figures and portraits and the human form. Uh, so we're going to do that eventually, but for right now, I did want to do a few more here on YouTube, just so you can kind of see some of the things we're going to be doing in the future on Patreon. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a break. And then when I come back, I'm going to start mixing up a little bit of the sepia tone paint, which I have over here. Sepia tone paint. We're going to get some out here on the palette. Okay sepia tone paint and that is it and we're just going to use that and we'll just you know start doing our shadowing our darks our lights and we'll create a beautiful painting here okay all right so we'll be right back i'm hoping you're really enjoying this um and uh, we'll be back in a second and we'll continue working all right we're back and we're going to zoom in just a touch there I'm just going to use basically two brushes. I'm going to use a uh, Raphael number six round brush, um, Kalinsky Sable round brush, watercolor brush. That'll be for the larger washes with you know the hair and the maybe the uh, leather jacket. Then I'm going to use a, a smaller um, Da Vinci Maestro travel brush number four, number four size Da Vinci Maestro travel brush, and that'll get in the more finer details. And again, I'm just having fun with this. I'm not worrying about perfection here. I'm just going to try to do the best I can and um, see what happens. So I'm going to do the eyes first. And 
and of course I splashed a little bit of uh, water on the paper. Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. Sometimes I just splash on a paper to make it relax. Like I feel like I'm more relaxed and like kind of carefree. Like I'm not getting too serious, you know. But I'm going to start getting in the eyebrows over here and the eyes, the tops of the eyelids and the eyebrows. And you can do this as fun as you want, as light as you want. You know, you don't have to go super dark. You can, maybe you can leave some of the, um, you can leave some of the um, details a little lighter if you want. You don't have to go as dark. Um, I just noticed that his, um, his eyes are in shadow. So the, the light is sort of coming down from the top down and you're seeing some shadowing over the bridge of his nose here. Like this. So there's some shadowing over the bridge of his nose. And there's some shadowing under his eyes here like so. Over here I see a little bit of a shadow. So you can kind of follow the shadow patterns. as you go. So I'm just going to keep working the light and darks that I see. So I'm just going to follow those lights and darks that I'm looking at in the photograph. That's my main concern and what I'm actually looking at to sort of work with what I'm trying to accomplish, which is the lights and darks in the, in the photograph that I see. There's some shadowing over here on his forehead, over here on this side. And there's also some shadowing along the bridge of his nose over here, like that. So there's a little bit of shadowing there and over here. There's some shadowing over here on his cheek. That's a little dark shadow over here on his cheeks a little dark so I want to make sure I get it enough dark that it looks okay and there's another sh shadow bit there and there's a little bit of light on the side of his head so that must be coming from around the back of his of his head so there's some darks and lights and then here we have some shadow under his nose so again, I'm doing the a little bit of a darker dark there. So there's a bit of a dark there and there. And then under his nostril there and here. And his lips are dark under here. So I'm just taking the paint and And again, I'm not talking a lot because it is a subtle, a subtle bit of um, details that we have to keep working on here. And I can't really 
explain exactly. I'm just trying to follow the, the lights and darks again. So I see some light, uh, some shadow there. And it's pretty dark under here. So I'm going to really try to capture the darks if I can. I want to make it dark where I see dark. And if I see dark up here, I'm going to go back in and add some dark there. Same thing there. I see dark there. And I see more dark over here. He might have a five o'clock shadow there, a little bit there. And then some more darks here. It almost looks like he has a chin strap on, like a football helmet or something. I kind of just noticed that as I was painting this. And then we're going to do some of his dark hair, his dreadlocks. He's got some dreadlocks here, so I'm just gonna put those in quickly. And again, if you see something happens and it's not looking good, like I notice I might have lost control over here on his cheek on this right side of his head, just leave it be, maybe blot it up a little bit, and you can go always go back in and work on that. But I think I've had a little bit of an issue with that, so I, I just want to don't I, want, I don't want to work on that anymore. I just want to stay away from that actually, and just try to um, work on the other parts here that I know are going okay. And again, don't worry about things if you have problems on a section or something. Just let it go. Don't keep working on it. Just let it sit. It's better to go back and try to a little, fix it up later. So there's the shadow under his, his chin on his neck. And this is quite dark, so I'm going to go under here like this. Okay, and I notice maybe I guess it's maybe a little bit um, you know don't worry about your subtle issues you might have with your portraits if you have a couple problems here and there you just you kind of chalk it up as a learning experience or you know you got to you got to put your time in on your your uh, portrait work and it gets a little easier each time you create a new portrait painting so the first ones you do they're the most toughest you have the most problems with them then as you work on them they get a little easier as you go so now I'm going to do some hair some dreadlocks more dreadlocks over here like that and it goes around his ears and then a couple, a couple dreadlocks there, like that. And over here, and I think that looks good. And then we have the shadow going down here by his leather jacket, like this. And then I'm just going to let that flow in there. And then I'll probably work on a little large, a larger brush with my Raphael brush next, but that's good enough for now. I'll try to sneak this in a little bit over here, his hair over here, maybe to try to make up for the fact that I might have made his head a little larger over here on this side, or I don't have enough, I should have tightened up the space between his ear, his ear here, 
and you might notice it, you might not, you know, it depends how good your eyesight is, but it looks like his, his, um, his face might be a little bit too wide over here. I might have gone a little bit too far between the ear and the eye, too much width, but we can, we can live with that. You know, you're not going to get everything perfect every time. So, um, I think we are, wow, this is the fun part of doing this. Um, what you're going to realize is once you get the eyes, nose and mouth pretty good, Once you get the eyes, nose, and mouth completed and looking pretty good, then you're, um, then your 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 work is going to be like easy from there on. So now you can see, since I have all that done, now I can go in and start really get some. You know, I'm going to have some fun now. I'm going to do some hair, some dreadlocks, like so. And you can see here, I'm having a good time now doing the dreadlocks because I've got the face done. <laughs> I've got the nose and the eyes done and the mouth done. That's the hard work, right? Now I can do the hair. That's the hair I can just... Whoop, 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 Fl fly this stuff right in, bam. It's kind of like Fridays when you're working during the week and it's a Friday. Once you're at like two or three o'clock on a Friday, you kind of just know <laughs> it's almost the end of the week and you can have a fun time. And not worry too much because you know you have a nice relaxing time. And now I'm having a relaxing time doing the dreadlock hair, the leather jacket, some shadows over here under by his, um, by his, uh, he's got a shirt here, a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and then his leather jacket. And I'll get lots of extra paint there to do his, his jacket. The jacket's a little bit uh, lighter up top. The light's striking the top of his leather jacket up here. So I'll just do that. And okay. And over here. A little more the darks here. He's got the leather jacket on, so that's pretty dark. And I've got that there, so that's the t-shirt. And there's a little shadow there. A little shadow under the, the jawline here. If I want to thin up his neck a little bit, I can go in with a little more hair to make his neck seem a little thinner. His neck look a little wide there. Okay. So now I'm going to continue to work a little more on the details if I can. But this looks pretty good. I think it's a little a little bit darker here on this side. Like that. And this might need to go out this way a little more. So we have his jacket over here a little more. I think it's better, yeah, like that. That looks a little better. Oh, 
Okay, now I remembered that I wanted to do a little more detail over here on the this side of the face because I think I lost control over here a little bit. So this is where I can sort of I can carve carve a little more of the face here. And get a little more detail in there that I see. It's pretty dark here. Maybe I have to lighten that up a little. Sometimes you, it's better to adjust things a little bit. Sometimes you have to make things a little lighter, a little darker. Um, okay, that this, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna say I'm going to, before I have an, any issues, I'll do a couple splashes here and there and call this complete. So this is my, um, maybe this needs to be a little, I need a little darker over here. This is where you can go back in and So I'm just trying to smooth, and then I'll take my brush, rinse off the brush, dry it off on a paper towel or a tissue like this, and then just try to soften the, the wash I just put on there like so, just so it blends in a little nice, you know, a little more smoothly. Um, his shadows over here under his eye, by his eyelid are darker, I noticed that. So I'm going to try to get the subtle things that I can see. If I can, I'm going to try to get those subtle bits of uh, information, darks and lights, and and if I can do that, then I know I'm pretty much I'm just following what I see in the photo. And maybe I'll just do an extra little bit there. blot up a little bit there. I, I just don't want a real hard hard line between the bottom of his chin and his neck. I'd rather leave it kind of soft and flowing into the neck area. That looks better usually. So what else can I see here that I might be able to do? Maybe this is a little darker here. There's a little bit of a darker bit of Uh, then I dry off my brush again on the tissue and I just try to smooth that out a little bit. I'm trying to think, do I see anything else?
And again, when we're doing portraits, let's not keep working it and working it until all of a sudden we've made some errors and worked it too much. I think we've got it here. I think we really have gotten enough detail that we really can see that it looks good. We've got the lights and the darks, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll just peel off the, the tape and just kind of see how it looks when we peel off the tape to get that natural looking matte finish or frame finish where it's like so. And I, I think this came out pretty good. So I'm hoping you're, let's have fun. Let's try our portrait work. Keep working at it, have fun with it. Try interesting figures that you want to paint. I might've picked a interesting um, um, rock star that I like, but you have to pick out your favorite person or could be anybody. But I thought this was a fun looking uh, figure here, portrait, and I can zoom in like that. Is it perfect? Well, of course not. Artwork is imperfection. Uh, at its finest, really. But you can kind of see it does look pretty good. Please look up my other videos on portraits. You'll find all the ways you can set up the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, all those different intricate parts of the head. Practice those and then jump on in and try this one and try the other. Again, I have numerous portrait videos. You just type in Chris Petrie portraits or figures, figures or portraits, and you just start working on a, a couple here and there as you go. And uh, the subscribe button is right on the right hand side down here below. So please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. I'm so happy that you're coming by to learn drawing and painting in watercolor. I do everything watercolor. This time I happen to be doing some portrait work. Most of the time I'm doing boats, seascapes, landscapes, cityscapes. I'll do uh, houses, buildings, city scenes, you name it. We do everything here watercolor, so keep coming by. Have a fun time. And um, always remember, it's just a matter of practicing. Get your practice time in. Have fun with it. And before you know it, you're really going to be having a great time painting in watercolor. Okay, so we'll see you on the next video. And a thumbs up if you like this video. This way I know I'll create more of these. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.